So today, it is time to talk about some drama that is going around in the Minecraft community. This whole drama started around two weeks ago, but a lot of things have happened these past few days, and now all of a sudden, people are fearing that Minecraft modding is gonna go away. Like, completely. I've received multiple comments of people saying that Mojang is gonna remove Minecraft modding completely and that we're not gonna be able to mod Minecraft anymore very very soon. And when I saw those comments I knew that I had to make a little video about this. So what is going on? Well, like I said, we got some drama again in the Minecraft community. This time, funny enough, it doesn't involve Java Edition. No, we're talking Bedrock today. Because around two weeks ago, Mojang released a brand new preview for Bedrock Edition. Now, for those who don't know what a preview is, a preview for Bedrock is basically an equivalent of a snapshot for Java. It is a beta version, a test version that people can play, but it's not final. Now, in that preview version that Mojang released, they removed something pretty important, pretty essential, I would say, for Bedrock modders. Because Mojang removed the PDB. Now, for those who don't know what a PDB is, you're not alone. Unless you're a developer of Bedrock mods, you've probably never heard about PDBs before. But essentially, PDBs are kind of symbols that Bedrock mods rely on to make their mods work. Now, I'm not 100% certain on this, but I read somewhere the Bedrock PDB symbols are quite similar to Java mappings. So, in case you're a Java mod developer and you know what mappings are, then PDBs are basically that, but then for Bedrock Edition. Now, Mojang didn't mention the removal of these PDBs at all. It is nowhere to be found in the changelog for that preview version. But they did very much and very intentionally remove them. So this of course started a lot of drama. People were saying that Mojang is now killing Bedrock modding completely and Java Edition may be next. One of the reasons I decided to make a video about this now is because I saw this tweet by Iris Shaders. They tweeted and I quote, TLDR, this entire video is clickbait. Mojang is not touching modding at all on Java. And the change they're making on Bedrock is limited to the server PDBs, not affecting free add-ons at all. Despite what many think, Java is at its peak on a technological level. Now, this tweet is actually quoting another tweet made by the Mr. Epic, who just released a video about two days ago now, talking about this exact subject. Now, is the video and the thumbnail clickbait? A little bit. A a bit it is. Reading the title and seeing this thumbnail really makes you believe that Mojang wants to get rid of Minecraft modding altogether. They want it gone. But that is far from the truth. By the way, if you actually watch the video, you would see that the Mr. Epic doesn't make any claims that modding is going to be removed for Java. It is just the title and the thumbnail. Those are very misleading. But unfortunately, a lot of people see a thumbnail and a title like this, and they immediately jump to conclusions without actually watching the video. Which is probably why I received so many comments of people thinking that Java modding is actually gonna be affected. So what is this change actually affecting? Well, first and foremost, this is gonna have no influence on Java Edition modding. Nothing is gonna change on that front. And if you are a regular Bedrock player, and you like to play with add-ons every once in a while, those will also be unaffected. The only thing that is actually gonna be affected is Bedrock modding clients. Now there is a big chance you didn't even know Bedrock has modding clients because they're not that popular at all. But Bedrock modding is very much out there and the people modding Bedrock, those are gonna be affected by this change. Now just a kind reminder, we're on Twitter. Everything on Twitter you need to read with a grain of salt. Or well, actually a, a massive pile of salt would be better, I guess. But here you got people commenting and Irish Shaders is replying to some of these questions. So do you realize there's actual Bedrock modding that isn't add-ons? And Iris Shader says yes, and only a portion of even those users are affected. So that is just to make very clear, we are not talking about add-ons. We're not talking about Java modding, just Bedrock modding. Now here's somebody saying basically what I just explained. So a uh, Bedrock PDB symbol files is an equivalent to Java's mappings, but far worse. Bedrock only has PDBs and symbols for server builds. These help a little bit, but not comparable to MCP on Java. It's hard and now much harder due to this. Referring to the PDBs being removed. It's gonna be way harder now to mod 
bedrock. Now, here we see a comment by Freddy. <laughs> now, who is Freddy? Well, he claims, and once again, we're on Twitter, so nothing is certain. It's a, it's a hellscape. But Freddy says, I'm a project developer of a project called Amethyst. Now, what is Amethyst. Well, Project Amethyst is one of these projects that is allowing modding on Bedrock Edition. And I quote, Project Amethyst is an open source project for building client-side mods for Minecraft Bedrock. Client-side mods are able to stretch past the limitations of add-ons and have full control over the game, such as using Minecraft's input system, creating your own user interfaces, changing vanilla functions, and more. So in other words, these are truly mods. Add-ons are not. Project Amethyst aims to truly add mods and they will be very much affected by this change. At least according to Freddy here. We absolutely are affected by this change. We are not an add-on platform. We are a native mod platform. Now the big question is of course, why is Mojang doing this? Why is Mojang removing PDBs? What are they gonna get out of it? It seems like they're only ruining a community. The bedrock modding community. And I mean, you don't have to think about this very, very long. I think most people with a few brain cells will see that Mojang is doing this to push some Thing they very much love and endorse. The Minecraft Marketplace. In case you're a Java only player and you for some reason don't know what the Minecraft Marketplace is, it is a place where you purchase things for inside of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So if you want a skin or a resource pack or you want to play a certain map or you want an add-on, then you can purchase them with IRL money from the Minecraft Marketplace. And of course, of course, Microsoft will get a cut. Don't you worry. They will get their piece, okay? So it is pretty clear that with this change, by removing PDBs from Bedrock, they want to push Bedrock mod developers to, instead of making mods for Bedrock, make add-ons for Bedrock. Now, if Mojang's plan, and, and by the way, this has not been confirmed, but it's it's pretty clear. It's pretty, one and one is two. Like, it's pretty clear that this is their intention. And if their plan is actually gonna work, we of course don't know. Time will tell. I'm pretty sure that these Bedrock mod developers are first gonna try just continuing on their project without using PDBs. But if eventually it turns out to be really, really hard, or maybe even close to impossible, then they might indeed move on to making add-ons for Bedrock Edition instead of actual mods. Now, with all of that being said, I am super curious. What do you think about this change? Because quite frankly, there are two camps here. On one side, this change, this sole change from Mojang is ruining an entire community. The Bedrock modding community is having a tough time. And we don't even know if Bedrock modding is still going to be a thing in, let's say, a year. Maybe they will all shut down and they will just move to making add-ons. That is a possibility. We don't know. But on the other hand, if all of these Bedrock mod developers would start creating add-ons that are all nice and conveniently available on the Minecraft marketplace, Place where you can just purchase them and play them on whatever device you're on. That's also pretty cool. Because keep in mind, all of this Bedrock modding is mostly for just the Windows version of Bedrock. Bedrock is also available on Switch, on PlayStation, on Xbox, even on Android and iOS. Bedrock is everywhere. And this Bedrock modding, these Bedrock mods are pretty much exclusive to Windows. While add-ons, you can play them on any device. Now, of course, the fact that everything has to go through Mojang's marketplace while on one hand being convenient. It also kind of sucks, especially for developers. But on the user end, things may actually improve. I don't know. I'm just throwing some random thoughts out there. If you want to know my opinion, I'm not a huge fan of the change. I like it when developers just give their community the freedom to mod the game whatever way they want. And it is getting really, really clear that Mojang doesn't want you to mod Bedrock Edition. In my opinion, this only bridges the gap between Java and Bedrock even more. Java Edition is the free edition. The edition where you can do anything you want. You can install mods, shaders, you can run epic Minecraft servers, you can make games in games. <laughs> like a map that Klauser made a few weeks ago where he literally recreated Hollow Knight in Minecraft. It is incredible stuff and it just shows how much Java Edition is capable of. But at the same time, the bedrock edition of the game is getting more and more limiting. Modding is being made really hard and everything you want to do that is a little bit custom has to go through 
Mojang's marketplace. Of course, there are more options available on PC. You can install a resource pack or just select your own skin if you're playing Bedrock Edition on Windows. But there's so many more Bedrock Editions out there and the game just feels very, very, very limiting compared to Java Edition. Or if you do want more customization, you gotta pay Mojang because you gotta buy something from the marketplace. Now that is gonna be it for today. I would love to know your opinion. Please scroll to the comment section down below and let me know what you think about this change. Do you like the direction Mojang is heading with Bedrock Edition? Or would you rather them giving Bedrock more freedom, just like how a lot more is possible with Java Edition as well? I would love to hear, so definitely let me know. Also, don't forget to double check if you're subscribed to my channel 90% of my daily viewers is still not which makes me sad so if you could just subscribe i would love you forever and also thank you so much to my channel members you guys are legends thank you so much for supporting and helping me run this channel it truly helps me out so much way more than you can probably even imagine and then i will see you in the next one bye boys see you later